one of the core things I think about, well, this goes back to like when I first started teaching. Um, I remember thinking I was doing a pretty good job. Students seemed to like me. They found me entertaining, all that kind of stuff, right? And we get to the second exam, and they did really well on it. And I was proud of them for a few moments, but then I looked at all the questions. I was like, you know, these are these questions are more or less meaningless. Like, even at me as a professional anthropologist, if I were to take this exam before I had taught this course, I would have not have done well on the exam. And that just shows that being a professional anthropologist is not about memorizing all of these obscure facts. And I started thinking about what is it about? And and then I started realizing the amount of energy students were putting into memorizing all those things. And I thought, boy, we could be doing something a lot better. And the real critical moment for me was when I started to realize that students, well, all of us, uh, when you think about the quest that we're on, whatever the quest is, it's it, usually you can get an insight into it by pay att paying attention to the questions people are asking. And in my big class, students were, were not asking like really interesting, important questions. They were asking questions like, how many pages does this need to be? And, you know, what, you know, is this going to be on the test? And, you know, what do we need to know for this test? And all that kind of stuff. And I think as I've changed my teaching style over time, it's mostly been designed at inspiring better questions so that students are on more important quests than just getting a good grade. And I think a lot of the experiments uh, that I've done, a lot of the things that I do in the classroom inspire much better questions like, um, well, instead of asking what do we need to know for this test, which is like a multiple choice test, uh, students are asking instead, you know, what do we need to know for this test of our lives? Like, what do I need to know to really make the world a better place? And that's, I suppose, back to the first question, that's really the greatest reward is when you see a student who no longer needs you, <laughs> you know, like who somehow you've inspired them and really you can just get out of the way because they, they can learn on their own at that point.